Hello and welcome back to my channel Cab with Jordan. Today we're going to be covering how to make a spring similar to this one. So we'll just jump right in. Obviously to begin with you're going to need to start up a standard part in whatever unit of measurement you would like to use. And then we're going to start by putting down our profile that we'll be using for our spring. So typically, you know, you just have a circle and then in the same sketch, we're just going to put in the axes for the center of our coil or our spring. So I'm going to make the center 20 mil away from the center of our profile and that way we'll end up with a 40 mil spring because it's going to revolve around this multiple times and 20 mil the other way. And I'm just going to put my upright axis in because that's the whole reason we've done it and delete that line. So now we have our profile and the axis that we'd like for the spring to go in we can use the coil tool found at the top here. Firstly, we're going to select our profile and then click on our circle or whatever shape it is you've chosen. And after that, we're going to go to our axes right here and then select the upright line. Now you'll immediately see a green line that shows where the coil is going to be created. Press an OK, we'll simply create the coil and there you go, done. That's everything you need. But if you want to dive a little deeper, we can open up this coil again and we can start changing the behavior part of the menu here. So we can change the different methods, but I'm not going to touch on that right now. Firstly we have the pit. The pitch is known as the distance between these two peaks right here and the same goes for the other side. So if I only make this one revolution I'll get one circle that goes all the way around and then stops once it reaches the original place again making one revolution. And we know that it's 15 mil from bottom to top. I can change that and that should give you an idea of what pitch is. So pitch is 20 mil right now and then revolutions is the amount of times you will get this green line stacked on top of each other. So if I ask for it five times, we get it five times on top of each other. And when we press OK, we're left with our spring. Now one more thing I'd like to touch on here is if we open up our original sketch and we change this original shape to say a, a triangle, now our spring has changed to a triangle and we can also get a lot more complex with the shapes that we're using and we can also get a lot more complex with the shapes that we're using. So now I've added a little notch into it and you'll see that that carries on all the way up. So that covers everything in regards to making a spring using the coil tool. If you're new to Inventor and looking to learn fast, then I have a course in the description. I highly recommend it and it's actually currently on sale. So please check that out and uh, thank you for watching.